today is Wednesday. We hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. If I'm looking a little bit haggard, a little bit more oily than usual, it's because Eric and I are just leaving Chase's apartment. Yes, guys. Chase is in an apartment this year for his sophomore year of college. Man, time is going fast. <laughs> it's flying by. Oh my gosh, his sophomore year, he has an apartment. Now, he is actually sharing the apartment with four other guys, four other guys, and they are some really wonderful young men, and we are just hoping, wishing, Upon a star that Chase has an amazing sophomore year, guys. All right, so what the other moms and I had decided to do was compile a list of items that the guys could actually share. You know, there is obviously going to be a common area. So we had decided to, you know, just kind of compile a list, put a list together of items you know, they would kind of share things like a microwave, toaster, you know, things like that. Perfect, right? Perfect until I forgot to pick up two or three key items from my list and one of which I didn't even remember that I had forgotten until one of the guys, while unpacking his things, apparently he likes to make like fancy coffee. And so he has this huge bag of not carrot K-cups, but coffee grounds and he spilled them all over the kitchen floor. No big deal, no big deal. I go to grab the vacuum cleaner and remember, yeah, niece, you were supposed to get the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner was on your list. So no big deal, right? We leave, we, this is a, he lives in a college town. So we're going from this store to that store. And you guys know how it is when everybody's doing back to school, whether it be college or high school or whatever, a lot of the school supplies or essential items aren't really in stock. And I don't know, you guys will have to drop down, leave a comment, let me know here lately it's just been getting increasingly more difficult to find things on the shelf anyway so anywho eric and i are now in the car we've decided we're gonna head back home take a quick little shower regroup and we're just gonna order everything from amazon a matter of a few hours guys so this is a vacuum cleaner that Eric is currently opening we went with this particular vacuum cleaner as you guys saw there were just a host of vacuum cleaners that we had to choose from but we love the fact that this one was super compact as you guys can see everything fit in this tiny box so for that small space that he well I won't say it's a small space it, bedroom and also for the other areas of the house as I stated earlier the guys are absolutely going to be sharing this so we wanted something that wasn't going to take up a lot of space 
um, but something that was, you know, also absolutely functional. And so we think we have a really good choice with this one. All right, and then I also ordered a dehumidifier, guys. If your kid is anything like Chase, he loves to take long, hot, steamy showers. And here at the house, we do have some dehumidifiers, but we decided to get a small one that will be able to fit in his apartment. Uh, bathroom I, I think you can actually what do you think babe sit it right on his sink yeah, so like okay. this is great for both dorm living and also college apartment living so yeah all right so now that Chase's place is all set up and ready to go for the new year oh my gosh you guys please drop down leave a comment let me know about his oh let me know what you guys think of his place I put some little clips in there I personally feel that it is just the cutest little place uh, for those guys, send him well wishes. A lot of you sent him well wishes in the last video. He read the comments and he says, thank you guys so very much. But anywho, enough with Chase's place. Right now, I am actually down here in the basement getting ready to declutter this area a little bit. I have made it no secret here on the channel, guys, that I absolutely want to pack everything up and head to Florida, more specifically Orlando, Florida. I just love it. Now, am I moving to Orlando this year? I may not even be moving to Orlando next year, who knows? So if you guys see a video here at this current house next year or, <laughs> you know, sometime later and you're like, oh my gosh, didn't she say she was moving to Florida? Girl, niece, calm down, all right? This is our third home. Yeah, our third home. This is our third time being home owners, all right? And each time that we have been moved, been moved, each time we have moved, it has actually been she, me, her who has prompted the move. And every time, this is how I start out. I start, I get the idea that I want to, you know, get a new home and I start the decluttering process. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. The time to start getting ready for, you know, a new home isn't, you know, a month out. This is a huge house. Yes, there are those of you who have homes maybe twice the size, but for us, this is a large house. If you include the basement, this house is over 6,000 square feet. Again, I know some of you are probably sitting on 12, but we have a 6,000 square foot home currently and we don't want to be forced into decluttering. It's going to take some time. Um, and also this house, you know, it's a million dollar house, over a million dollar house actually. And so there are things that we will need to do around the house that are going to take, you know, money to put into. And again, you don't want to be forced into doing some really big ticket items around the house at the last minute. So like I said, this is typically what I do when um, I get that urge to move. I absolutely have that urge to move. So what I'm doing right now, uh, while I have the time, while I'm not rushed, um, is, is decluttering. Our first home we actually lived in, just a little backstory. <laughs> And I'm sorry if it is so bright. Again, I am down here in the basement. We are fortunate with this house to have a daylight basement, meaning there are windows everywhere. I'm actually sitting under a light right now. So I love this basement and that it does get a lot of light. Um, I'm gonna miss this place, you know, if we do eventually get up and move. But anywho, our first house, we were in actually Stone Mountain, Georgia. That was our very first house. We purchased that house in, I want to say it was either 2002, 2003. Yep, 2002, 2003. And I want to say we paid somewhere around 265, 275, give or take. I want to say maybe right at the $300,000 mark for that house. And guys, you can't get a $300,000 house in Atlanta. Mm. I don't think anywhere times have changed so so much in terms of you know home ownership and so we stayed in that house probably four years four or five years I do remember our it wasn't our agent who told us this right here it wasn't our agent who told us this um, I think she had something to do 
with the not lender but the builder she said don't stay in the house more than five years after five years you do start to run into you know uh issues with the home in terms of repairs and stuff like that she was like stay in it five years get your equity and then sell it so we stayed five years in that house um did pretty well with the sale and then we moved in town like i said at that time we were staying in stone mountain then we moved in town to the Brookhaven area and we got a townhouse and I want to say we paid around 400k for that townhouse and again times have changed so much where we are right now with this economy and the state of just houses you in Atlanta in the area we live you cannot get a town home a town home for 400,000 you'd be hard pressed to get a condo for $400,000 in this area and then this house like I said um a little over a million dollars and so we do have a little bit of experience with home ownership and i think again this is the right thing to do for any of you who are looking to sell your home not this year not next year but at some point down the line start getting rid of those things that you know you don't need they're not really going to add value to the home uh you know with home decor styles change and so you may want to start to update the decor little by little so i want to share with you guys what i have started doing down here in the basement nothing really major again just kind of taking my time going to pace myself so that again once we get down to the get down to the, like the, near the finish line and we're ready to list the home everything that we can everything that we could have done cosmetically will already have been done i will say the last two showings that we had the first house the the townhouse our agents have always said and the buyers have always commented that the house showed like a model home so um just kind of staying on top of the decluttering and again updating the decor and things like that really helped to move the house when you are ready you don't want your house sitting on the market forever our homes never sat on the market the last two homes never sat on the market more than a month never more than a month they went very quickly and so for this home i want when we do eventually list it i want it to move also so i'm gonna um share with you guys some of the things that i have been doing down here thus far all right so if we walk this way into the guest bedroom this is where i have actually already started to declutter a few items so we have this huge ikea wall of I guess this is like a built-in I guess but it's not a built-in um this is from Ikea what is it called I just can't think of the name of it right now just like an organizer guys you've seen these um at Ikea but there are several units here together Eric put this together and it is flawless I love it but you see here now there are some cubes empty like that one's empty that one over there is empty a few down here are empty as well I wanted to not have it filled with so much decor I want I wanted to give the illusion of it being even larger um, this space you know whoever buys this house when once we do eventually sell we're probably going to leave this here but I have taken out some of the decor like things that I don't want like I'm going to take this out um, not really in love with uh, this piece here anymore uh, that piece right there I will take out and probably a few you know just a few more pieces um right now while i was down here i was watching what is this all or nothing on prime video oh my gosh those of you who play football have family members who play football i don't know how they do it but i have been taking the things out that i don't want so far and just placing them right here and so all of this stuff will go to goodwill these items this little box right here most of this stuff you know uh you guys know came from home goods but you know i just feel like it's it's not really working 
down here in this space anymore i don't have these colors down here anymore we used to have some rugs down here uh, that color but i have since switched those out down here we do still have this credenza if you guys have been family members here on the channel for a while you will recall that this was actually a thrifted piece that i painted eric and i did and we switched out the hardware and i love it but again this is the only <laughs> color that is still remaining down here um in this you know a really pretty tiffany shade of blue i really like it i'm still on the fence as to whether or not i want to uh, paint it but yeah i think it's a nice little statement piece when you walk here down into the basement oh also i am thinking that i want to take some of these books out of the bookshelf <laughs> these books right here were just like uh for decor they are actually <laughs> believe it or not they're like chase's old children's books uh who is this diary of a wimpy kid so i just covered the books because i wanted the white aesthetic for the books down here and i didn't want to go out and spend money on buying a bunch of white books so i just covered a bunch of his old books but i am going to get rid of those and also some of the other books and just kind of declutter this area right here as well all right and so back upstairs here in the theater room i'm thinking i'm going to do almost a complete and total revamp of this space i in my humble opinion <laughs> feel that the movie theater artwork it's a little bit dated you don't really see that anymore in a lot of the theater rooms so i think i want to just take this down just repaint this wall of course it'll still be the same or very similar shade of gray i want to i don't know about the popcorn machine but i know these valances are going to be taken down guys i made those valances i even did this little bench right here so that's gonna go so that means i don't know the popcorn machine may or may not go and i want to get rid of this artwork it's kind of like art deco but i want to get something you know just a little bit more modern um of course this area over here will absolutely be decluttered things like this you can kind of wait until you're you know 30 days out things that you're using every day this is my little theater room coffee station i just picked this up on yesterday that's why these haven't been placed in the drawer i did open this one of course pumpkin spice gotta have my apple cider vinegar got some tea let me share with you guys my current favorite coffee creamer and it is the starbucks pumpkin spice latte but it's the almond milk and oat milk variety so yeah really enjoying this right now all right and so over here in my other closet this is the closet off of the uh, master bedroom this is actually my size we'll probably check out eric's side here in a minute but all of this on this wall i want to be taken down not sure if i'm going to remove this but this little space right here is where i actually sit and edit videos i'll do my nails here on occasion let me share with you guys these are the nails i'm wearing i'll link them below but i don't know you purchase these at your own risk i did pick these up from amazon of course <sighs> they keep popping off guys they keep popping off i don't know if it's my application if i'm not pressing Let's see if i can open it up if i'm not pressing down hard enough when i apply the glue but if i can get it open they just won't stay on for whatever reason so this is the little you know it comes with the glue and everything it came with a nail file and i loved it because it has really 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 pretty colors um but i will say every time i get ready to use it i'm kind of rushed so it may just be user error i'm going to dedicate some time uh soon and um 
just you know try and take my time and put it up you know and put them on so but i'll link them below and then i'll come back later after i've dedicated time to it and let you guys know you know a real full whether or not they work review but anywho's over here <laughs> in this area of my closet I have just some extra purses and shoes and a lot of these shoes guys I don't wear so I'm going to donate these as well you know you know how we do ladies you just have shoes and purses and things like that you know you're not using them but you just hold on to them and in my case half of them aren't even sentimental so I will absolutely be decluttering this area over here and these little units again much like the ones downstairs in the basement are actually from ikea as well eric put these together i think these are this is just like that's a unit that's a unit maybe one unit there and then a unit across here and then these little containers are uh, from ikea as well absolutely need to come in here and just thin this area out like these shoes right here i know i'm not wearing those shoes anymore so those are going those are going so yeah just little things like that that you can kind of start doing really goes a long way when you are you know when you're really ready to list all right guys so it's another day another white shirt i need to head to marshall's Target may maybe even to purchase me some more white shirts because I have like three white shirts that are in heavy 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 rotation um, so right now I am on my way to a consultation for my hair yes I have short hair guys I have short hair it was actually shorter than this I've let it grown out I've let it grow out a bit um, if you have been members here on the channel for a while, then you will recall that some time ago, not too long ago, I had a pixie cut. And at that time, I put a relaxer in it so that the, you know how it is with a pixie cut, um, your hair grows really fast and then you immediately start to lose the look of the pixie cut you know because of the new growth so you have to kind of put a relaxer in it quite often at least you know that's what i had to do back natural and like i said it was much shorter than this but i have since let it grow out and guys right now i am just really really truly and completely wholeheartedly wholeheartedly just over the whole hair thing guys i'm over it i'm over it so today i am headed to a hair consultation for locks permanent locks not crochet locks not faux locks permanent locks guys so we're gonna see how this goes i'm not even sure my hair is long enough for the locks you guys will have to drop down leave a comment let me know if you feel my hair is actually long enough for the locks. So hopefully, hopefully it's long enough. Hopefully she can, you know, do something with this. What I didn't realize is how terribly expensive locks are. Locks are expensive. It's like, I looked up her prices and I guess too, it depends on, you know, the size of locks you get, but the size that I'm looking at, shoot, locks can be like $1,200 up. Like what? I had no idea. Um, but I think it's going to be money well spent. And so, yeah, we will see. So I'll head it there now. Um, do drop down, leave a comment. Let me know. Is my hair long enough? Let, let's see who gets it right in the comments. When I hop back in the car, I'll let you guys know what she says, whether or not my hair was long enough. But you guys tell me, do you think currently my hair is long enough to get locks? I don't know. We shall see. Well, after that, I plan on heading to Lowe's. I need to look for... Uh, some plants, some fall plants to go in the pots outside of the front door. Have not gotten around to do that. So we got the hair consultation. I think I'll go to Marshall's or maybe TJ Maxx after that. And then we'll head to Lowe's because I really do need to get, um, you know, some more of these little uh, 
button down shirts. I love them. So I'm wearing the white button down today and some biker shorts. And I love the, the long button down tops. I just put a little cuff in it here because when you wear the biker shorts, you know, it gets to cover your butt a little bit. You don't want to, well, for me, I don't like to have, you know, the goods out on complete display. Um, so I love that the button down shirts, they give you, you know, a little bit of coverage, um, especially when you're out, you know, running errands and stuff. Now, if I'm on vacation, you know, I don't really care. Um, so yesterday, I want to tell you guys this, I went to the doctor for my physical, my primary care doctor for my physical, love her. Oh my gosh, she's just the best. And um, we got to talking guys. Y'all, she's really concerned. Those of you who watch the channel and you are in your 20s and your 30s, she is really concerned about you guys' health, um, specifically the women. Um, she has a lot of clients who are in their 20s and 30s, and she says that you guys are doing way, way, way too much hookah. She says that you guys are doing way, way, way too much drinking, too much smoking the, of the weed, and um, not enough exercise. So she's really concerned. Um, she's really happy with what I'm doing um, in terms of my physical fitness and just, you know, overall, you know, health and weight and things like that. So I'm really glad I got a good, clean bill of health on yesterday. So that was nice. Um, so today for my workout, earlier today, I got up and I walked four miles on the treadmill. Typically I will, Eric and I have been, you know, going to the park and stuff to do our walks. Eric had a call today. He's actually still on the call, so he couldn't walk with me this morning. He'll probably go out later today and do his walk. And I may or may not get like a second workout in and head out with him, but we'll see. But guys, I didn't know what you burn that many calories walking. So I was on the treadmill today for an hour and guys, I walked four miles, four miles on the treadmill today. And I had it at like, what was the speed? Like 4.2, 4.3. And at times I would have the incline on like a two and then other times like a three, I kind of, you know, went back and forth with the incline on two and three. And when I got off, I had burned like 450 something calories. I was like, yes, okay, thank you. I don't have an Apple Watch, so I'm not um, able to, I guess, track the steps or you know how many calories I burn. But I was really pleasantly su surprised and really, really pleased with that. So said all this to say, those of you who are struggling trying to get on, you know, some type of fitness regimen, and look, look, she falls off the wagon more times than she should i admit that um but i always get back on and that's the thing we fall off but you want to get back on the wagon um, we have this one life well, yes we want to enjoy it but we want to also make sure we are making you know healthy choices at least i think 80 percent of the time and so you ever you, you guys ever get lost in thought and translation like what was i, I immediately talking to y'all just forgot what i was why am I here? What am I? What was I about to say? What was I about to say? Oh, <laughs> for those of you who have expressed to me that you are having a hard time, you know, starting a workout regimen, just start with walking. Walking burns a lot of calories. It really, really does. So um, right now, because I know everybody doesn't want to run. Of course, running burns a lot of calories, but you know, burning, running can be kind of difficult on your body, kind of hard on your knees and your joints and things like that. So if you're having a hard time getting started, just start out by walking. Start out by walking. But anywho, I am currently on Peachtree Street. And if you live here in Atlanta, then you know Peachtree Street loves to thrust and thrive and give all of the bad traffic things. So I'm going to put you guys away until I get to the hair salon. My appointment is at 1230. It is currently 1220. So hopefully I will get there on time. I do not like being late. Sir, ma'am, stay on. I don't like being late. So I will pick you guys back up. Hopefully I can get there in 10 minutes and 
Uh, don't forget, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you think my hair is going to be long enough for the locks. Those of you who have locks, how are you liking your locks? Did you get the micro locks? Do you have the really large, you know, locks? I'm trying to go somewhere in between. I think it's called miniature and small, I think it is. I don't want micro. I don't have that kind of time and or patience to sit for, I think she said, two days uh, to have micro locks installed. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. of my consultation and I don't know I'm not even gonna ask you guys what you think she said hopefully you left your comment below um, but I think you guys can see from the smile on my face she said that my hair was yes in fact long enough yay so I will be getting locks guys in just a few days and oh my gosh i am going to have them colored yes i'm going to have them colored you guys know that i am typically oh my gosh these people just want to get in accidents today i'm typically just an all black girl when it comes to my hair every now and then maybe i'll do a 1b but that historically has been that's been it um, but this time I'm going to get some color. You guys will have to let me know what color you think I am going with. So on next week, guys, I get my hair done. Yep, that fast next week. I'm so glad that um, she was able to, you know, get me in. Y'all, Atlanta. Atlanta's traffic and just the road work can only be described as right now as just just discouraging. It's discouraging. Um, there's just always a lane closed, a roadblock, someone had an accident, a traffic jam. It's just, it's just really bad around here. If you live in Atlanta, if you live in the city specifically, then you know exactly what I am talking about. But yeah, I'm so happy, guys. Let me know. I think I asked you guys before I got out of the car. Let me know if you have locks. And if you have locks, let me know how you are enjoying them. If you have locks and you have any tips and or tricks for me, uh, let me know. She did say that, you know, after I get them installed, which is going to take roughly 10 hours by the way i have a small head so i'm hoping it won't be you know exactly 10 hours we shall see but yeah so 10 hours but then i come back after that in about eight weeks for you know a maintenance um kind of follow-up so yeah see right here someone someone's car has broken down right here on peachtree street which is not good it's not their fault you know stuff happens but there's just something always going on around here. But right now, we are we're just riding high on the day. I am so happy. Right now, we are headed to Lowe's. Like I said, I want to get some plants um, to put in some containers on my front porch. I am actually looking for purple fountain grass. At our very, very, very first house, um, I was the purple fountain grass queen the big plumes on that fountain grass at our first house in the yard. It was just amazing. Uh, when we lived in that particular neighborhood, if you got, I don't know if I've ever told you guys where our first house was. We actually used to live in Stone Mountain. Did I say that earlier? It was Stone Mountain, Georgia. And um, I got yard of the month. Maybe a couple of times we lived in that particular neighborhood. And I like to attribute that yard of the month for the purple fountain grass here in Georgia. I want to say you can grow purple fountain grass in the, yeah, you you put it in in the, in the somewhere between spring and summer, I think it is, but it really gets the nice purple, purple <laughs> plumes on it in the fall. It's really, really pretty.
is the purple fountain grass, guys. Well, this actually is the pompous grass right here. But this right here is the purple fountain grass. And I don't like the looks of this one. Looks like they only have two. This one right here. And then this one. And these have seen better days. I'm pretty sure if I were to take them home and repot them and everything, they would really, you know, spring back to life. But I wanted some that already had that pretty purple color and had the plumes on it. So I think I'm going to just have to head over to Home Depot. And have a look there. Hopefully that you have some. I think I'll go inside though for a few minutes and see the fall decor. As you can see, there's some over there. Really pretty. I need to switch out my wreath too. for the front porch. Let's see how heavy they are. Right?